I wanted to share more information, more avenues of information, more vectors of knowledge with you, my dear esteemed viewer. Uh, as a as is part of my description, job description, uh, as in service to humanity, service to others. And um, so I'm, I'm just here looking on my Facebook page uh, with some of the, you know, the news feed that I get because of uh, whom you know, I guess I follow their pages and whatnot, but, and then, you know, the other day I, I read from uh, uh, Daniel Scranton, his channeling from the Arcturian Council, and uh, here's another one, uh, it's, I guess it's this, from this page, Love from Venus, a public group, a um, lot of great information I, that I see by following that group, I, I recommend it if you use Facebook. Um, I don't know, most of you might be on TikTok, I don't know, the age demographic, I don't know, I, I think there is an age demographic between TikTok users and um, Facebook users, Facebook users may very well may be considered boomerish, <laughs> whatever, but I, I am going to eventually get on TikTok and start blowing that place up, uh, sending some not knowledge, and I don't know anything about it, there very well may be some light workers there and TikTok, as far as I understand it, it's a lot of people, um, you know, just kind of showing off, but who knows, perhaps it's all showing off. Um, so yeah, Love from Venus, Daniel Scranton, this, that's a, it's another, he's always got great, fact, you know, he's on YouTube as well, we can, uh, Daniel Scranton, uh, channeled by Daniel Scranton, you can see right here. Uh, greetings. We are very sensitive to energy, as most of you are, and so I, uh, I'm not going to read all that. But um, there you go. Uh, be a good neighbor. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to go to my page because um, I had actually shared another one. Another person whom I recommend is uh, Ramona Lappin. That's pronounced her name and this is came from her uh, last uh, posting exit the matrix and uh, and this is what she said she, that I was shown yesterday that we are literally in what could be seen as a massive big project bluebe now that's a little you know blue uh, blue beam was a government project that was meant to uh, use holographics and um, uh, essentially create a, create a false flag of this alien invasion, uh, whether or not she's le leveraging that concept. But this is kind of deep, actually, and I don't fully understand it, but I want to share it anyway. But she's saying could be seen as a massive big project blue beam, perhaps that's what the matrix is what she's referring to as the false digital matrix, which it's all hologram, holographic, you know, uh, and it's an it, uh, execution. So here's what she says, all coming, but it is all coming from within us at cellular and consciousness DNA memory level, which is all being cleared out now. These are false and digressed codings running in our running in our DNA, which equals fallen consciousness based in fear-based programming beliefs. There's a whole divine organic creatrix field alive and fully online beneath the false artificial overlays, now fully dissolving along with the false memories of this artificial matrix simulation. Yes, through alchemy, through marrying your thoughts and your emotions, your thinking with your heart emotions, um, you are a co-creator. Um, and it's only because we're still kind of uh, distracted, uh, you know, 
to the extent that we're allowing the illusion to per persist in our own reality, uh, you know, we are tricked in a sense. So anyway, there's a whole tricked as to the, our true power of what we can manifest in this world. And, um, and, and if you're going through ish, uh, hard times or whatever right now, um, consider how much of what your ego is telling you that is the hard time is transmitting, communicating to you if you're attached to your ego. Uh, some of the ha happiest people I've ever met, and, uh, including myself, uh, at one time in my life was when I absolutely had nothing, when everything had been stripped from me, uh, all ego, you know, um, illusions to, to include the attachment to my material possessions have been stripped from me. That's part of, that's part of uh, the alchemy of what we go through. That's part of, in the book of Job, when Satan came before God and said, God said, have you considered my servant Job and how righteous and, uh, you know, how, how he acts in this 3D mutant matrix that you've created, Satan? And Satan says, well, God, that's because you have, uh, you know, allowed him to flourish and prosper. And, and, and anybody can have a good attitude when they're living in a, you know, a castle on the hill. But take all that from him and see how uh, he conducts, comports himself in this reality. Well... You know, we will all be tested. You will all be tested, but it's it's really a, a test. Easy to um, to become, you know, to uh, take and and score successfully when you kind of see through the illusion of everything. Um, the matrix simulation, this fake matrix simulation, and last veil of forget forgetfulness fully lifts and dissolves, revealing what was always there. New ascension earth skies and landscapes will appear as the false firmament dissolves along with the false history records and memories all from within any moment now. Paradise is a frequency. Here she's laying it down, Ramona Lappin. Paradise is a frequency, a level of God's source consciousness that is first accessed from within and then, get, and then gets projected out into the hologram. That's it. Could, man, just, there you go, right there. Beautifully said, paradise is a frequency, a level of God source consciousness that is first accessed from within and then gets projected out into the hologram. For you to access this cosmic intelligence, you have to first let go of what you believe to know and to be true and real as we remember our one true self fully again, that our realities are co-created as one in every now based on our deepest hell beliefs and expectations, the worlds we hold within and then project out. So, man, there you go, powerful. Just look her up. Let me hit. Let me hit like on that. And Ramona, she all all it's always has good stuff. But there you have it. Uh, but I wanted to uh, share, you know, some of those. Uh, and Ramona Lappin, Lappin uh, I'm not sure. If, her stuff's on YouTube. I know Paul White, Gold Eagle, uh, mentioned, you know, he reads her stuff on, on his daily morning uh, broadcast that he does on YouTube. And, you know, uh, he, he kind of uh, collates, aggregates. He's like a, a Paul, White Go Bo uh, Paul White Gold Eagle as uh, takes all these multiple channelings and transmissions and presents them in a beautiful package. Uh, morning, which is the first thing when I, man, after I uh, feed the cats and, uh, you know, express gratitude before I fully come to consciousness, it's not long after all that morning routine that I'm listening to Paul White Gold Eagle's broadcast and, and catching all of the aggregates of these channelings from these various light workers, Ramona LePen, Aurora Ray, there's a whole bunch of them. And, uh, but anyway, that's some of the resources that you see on uh, Facebook uh, and, you know, Dan, uh, Venus, Love from Venus and all. And there's a lot of great groups to get on there and follow and uh, kind of see how all this is what I, you know, it's the kind of inform information feed that I choose to focus upon and, and, and put my thoughts, uh, you know, the energy of my brain, electricity to sort of, uh, it, it, 
they, the synapses fire with that knowledge. Namaste. Namaskaram. Yeah, hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up.